Hi, today I want to talk to you about using current values in environmental variables to help you run Newman. As you most likely know, environmental variables are used in to hold and maintain a variety of information. Those that you might want to share with your team and those that might be private and secret to you that you don't want to share with anyone. Those are expressed and evaluated by using two different types of environmental variables. The initial value, which will be synced back to the cloud and possibly shared with your team, and the current value, which is encrypted and stored locally on your machine. So again, the current value is encrypted on your machine and not shared with anyone, but these values uh, represent things like tokens, API tokens that execute or allow a user to execute an endpoint. So in this case, I have a collection for the Postman API to retrieve all my collections where I'm passing in my Postman API key as an environmental variable for the X API key in the header program. Let's go ahead and execute this. And you'll notice that this is achieving what the endpoint is executing the endpoint and pulling back all my collections that I have um, access to. Now, how would you do this using Newman? Uh, using an environmental variable for something uh, that is not maintained in the initial value. Well, let's look at that. Newman supports a parameter called dash dash env dash var, environmental variable name and environmental variable value. It allows you to pass in a specific value, key value pair that is not maintained in an environmental variable that could be specific uh, and sensitive, such as a API key. So you are able to run Newman and pass in sensitive information using this env-var flag. Let's take a look at Newman running. So in this case, I'm just running Newman run, my Postman API collection, and an environmental file. You'll notice that I don't have the, the current value in there, so things are failing here. But if I run this again and actually use the env-var uh, flag here and specify the postman underscore API key and give it my key, let's see what happens. Everything executed correctly. So now you can see how to pass in sensitive information in Newman without relying on the environmental variables file and putting that value in a initial value where it could be shared with the rest of your team. Thanks.